everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah and welcome back to Paleo Pines. In our last episode of our Let's Play, we made it to Arcata Canyon. We got to explore a little bit, but in today's episode, I actually have some special stuff planned. Let's go ahead and grab a uh, Cressy right here and do some watering, but the Paleo Pines devs actually released a, uh, a few updates and I was able to grab a key for you all to give away. So one lucky person did win a key. That person has been messaged or commented back on, on the last video. So if you did comment to enter, be sure to double check because if you've won, I have already answered you and given you uh, directions on how to claim that key. But the devs have, oh my goodness, Cressy is having some issues. The devs have included a couple new updates, including uh, some special chocolate eggs as part of an Easter update. So we're gonna go hunting for those in just a little while. They also updated a couple of the dinosaur stuff in that when we are riding a dinosaur that has like the whatever the trait is that allows them to clean up debris, so like Lucky, they can actually harvest like harvestables on the ground without dismounting, which is just absolutely amazing. That means that when we come across mushrooms or carrots or anything else like the garlic that's on the ground, it doesn't work with bushes, um, but anything that's growing on the ground, Lucky can harvest for us and we don't have to dismount in order to harvest it. Do we have anything else that needs harvesting over here? No, we don't. Um, and then last but not least, the day that I'm playing this, not the day that you're seeing it, is actually St. Patrick's Day. So because the devs are based in Northern Ireland, they also turned the river in Viridian Valley green. So I'll have to go check that out as well. What did we get for our harvest? Wow, 32 garlic. I am envisioning this is going to make us quite a bit of shells, which is exciting. Three carrots that don't have any stars. Oh, I forgot to plant these yesterday. Dang it. We have a turnip seed and we have a lettuce seed. Um, I also did plant over here. It was like corn and cauliflower and something else. It was one of the seeds that we bought at Aracata Canyon yesterday. But let me just go ahead and grab these and get these planted because we want to just I just bought like one of each and that way we can make sure that we like officially discovered them you know and we can learn about them and figure out what the heck we can uh what the heck we can plant in this season no no I want the seed that I know nothing about can I have the seed that I know nothing about or do I already know about this seed I don't there we go turnip discovered. So are they in the correct season? As you can see, we're on day 11 of Jurassos and no, they are not. Uh, lettuce is Triasa and what else did I plant? Corn. That makes sense because it's more of like a fall thing. Turnip is more of a fall thing. Okay. Oh, well, well, our, uh, our garlic is what we want to continue to plant. So we'll see if granny or I forget the name of the character. Maybe we should get some chili peppers too. Because these harvest six times and they grow in 10 days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Mm, probably not the best then. We could do it. But then we would be harvesting into the next season as well. So it wouldn't be quite as good. Hmm. I'll have to think about that because I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Let me go grab what is in our mailbox because we got our like medium Viridian Valley flowers. Those are for the like secret garden uh, to collect. There we go. We got five of those. Amazing. Let's take Lucky and head on in. We'll do our chores later. I know. I know. I'm such a procrastinator. I, uh, I put them off until the very last second. But let's head in to the valley, start looking for eggs, look at the river and, uh, and do all that fun stuff. So there are a total of six eggs. So I'm guessing there's going to be one in the valley. Oh, can Lucky not harvest this? Is that not? Oh, hmm. Hold on one second. 
Let me see, have we discovered the Dilophosaurus yet? Because I know for sure, no, we haven't. I know for sure the Dilophosaurus can do the harvesting. We don't have para either, right? Because we haven't found those yet. Okay, well, that's not incredibly helpful. Um, who else? Clearer, I think that's what Lucky is, right? Um, what pen are you in, Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> I should really rename these. Uh, what pen do you even live in? Not jellies. Cupcakes? No. Jelly? Oh, right here in front of me. Um, it doesn't actually say what you do. But I know you're a clearer because you can clean up debris. That's interesting because I was literally just using Lucky on my Switch playthrough to harvest things like that. So I wonder if that's a bit of a bug because that's that's a bummer because that is a huge quality of life update to be able to harvest things without actually getting off would be amazing. No special colors there. Oh, look, we have those little guys over there that have come over from like the little desert section. The Solidosaurus, is that what they are? Look at them. Ooh, that one's really cute. Super, super cute. Uh, and look at this, we have our green river for St. Patrick's Day. How cool. I love the effect where it's not like, it's not like solid green. It's just, you know, a little hint of green. Check it out. Very cool. All right, we got a couple purple guys. Okay, eggs. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I'm pretty sure there's going to be one in kind of each section, like both towns in Dapplewood, in Viridian Valley, and in Arcata Canyon. And then I think one on our ranch as well. I have a pretty good idea of where the one on our ranch is. And I have a pretty good idea of where the one in Aracata Canyon is. But we'll have to look for the rest. For now, let's go ahead and sell our garlic. 800 shells. Beautiful. Let's sell these ones as well for another 100. And then we'll sell these for five. Confirm 905 shells. Amazing. I don't think we are quite there yet for deluxe food for either of our animals. We have the deluxe carnivore food and then eventually we'll get the deluxe herbivore food, but it's quite expensive. It's $80 as opposed to $8. So yeah, kind of, kind of expensive. So thank you, Coraline. We'll be back a little later. You're correct. Uh, oh, it's Avery's budding day. Um... Let's not talk to them just yet because I want to bring them hopefully something to eat, right? We have that really terrible stew. <laughs> Maybe we can give them that. I don't know. Is that mean? Um, let's go grab that real quick. And then actually, I'm going to start at our ranch for our egg hunt. That way we have a, uh, a starting place, start at our ranch. Now, I have a pretty good idea where it is because most of our ranch is editable. So it's got to be outside of the ranch somewhere out here, right? That's not going to change regardless of what you do on your ranch. I don't see anything over there. Oh, right here. Check it out. So this is what they look like. These little eggs right here, chocolate egg. And I don't even think I told you the best part. These chocolate eggs can be fed to any dinosaur to immediately befriend them. No dealing with the little bar, no giving them a pop-in, anything like that. They just immediately befriend them. And if you give them to a dinosaur that is already befriended, I think they become an instant helper. So you can instantly have them so that they help out on your ranch, which is super cool. So I do want to find all six and uh and kind of save them for some of the uh the more rare dinos or you know it's easy to just keep six of them in your inventory and uh and uh instead of, oh there we go i don't know why the carrots weren't working yeah check it out lucky can harvest these while we are riding around which is beautiful Anyway, we can keep them in our inventory and it's easier than carrying around all the different types of poppins because that takes up quite a bit of space in your inventory. Do I see any Stratosaurus down there? Or any rare ones, I mean. 
Yeah, not really. That silver one is very cute. That's one of the new colors. Uh, not the newest color, though. There were some newer colors added recently, and I love that the devs continually add new colors because it's it's very cool to kind of go searching for them. Okay, whatever reason, Lucky doesn't want to pick up that clover, but that's fine. Let's check over here because I think this would be a good place for an egg is like somewhere over here. And, uh, oh, I thought it might be behind that tree. I guess not. Okay, well, let's just harvest this. No special coelophysis because we obviously want to uh, take a look at our dino colors as well. Nothing special over here. Do I see any eggs? What the heck is this? Something I haven't researched, obviously. Um, it looks like a, oh, it's a tapestry fragment. Okay, very cool. All right, Lucky, onward. <laughs> oh, this one's not green. It would be cool if all the water was turned green, huh? Uh, for St. Patrick's Day. Do you guys do anything fun for St. Patrick's Day? I honestly usually don't. Um, not because I like dislike St. Patrick's Day, but it's never really been like a holiday that I pay a whole lot of attention to. I've had friends that like really get into it and it's like their one day of year that they really enjoy like going out and getting drinks and, and hanging out with friends and they make like a huge thing of it. Um, I've never really been that way. So let me know if you celebrate St. Patrick's Day and if you do, what do you do? What do you do for fun? I mean, obviously drinking, you know, alcoholic beverages is a big part of St. Patrick's Day, um, but you don't have to celebrate that day. So I'd be interested to hear from you how you celebrate. I didn't see any eggs up there. I know I'm, I'm checking rather quickly, but I feel like it would be somewhere like behind a bush or something like that. Let's double check over here and see if any of these guys are around. These dinos doesn't look like it. Hanging out in Dapplewood today. Do we have any special Gallimimus? I swear. So in my other playthrough on my Switch that I play off camera, I find every heckin' rare Gallimimus, and that's the only thing I find. I think I have five of them now. Now, one of my Gallimimus on my other game is like the first one I ever tamed. Um, so it's just a green one. But I swear, every time I find a rare dino, it's a Gallimimus. And so now I have five of them. And I think I even, oh, hello, little guy. You're very cute. Um, I think I even have five Styracosauruses as well, because same thing, I keep finding uh, rare Styracosauruses, like I found another cupcake one, uh, like like ours in this game, um, and then I found uh, like a really deep colored, like pinkish coral one, um, and I just recently, oh, hello, I've never seen your color before. Look how cute you are. Hello. Is this a rare one? We already found an egg, so I could technically use it, but I don't I don't really want to use them right away. I kind of want to save them for something super special. But look at how cute it is. Triceratops, go to sleep. Oh, it's little eyeballs. <laughs> it's so very cute. Let's see. <gasps> Proud Twilight. It is a rare one. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, it's obviously not going to despawn throughout the day. So we're going to make note that it's there. And then depending on what else we find, I am very tempted to take that home. Because it's a rare color. Right? And we want all the rare colors. Okay, nothing over here as far as Ankylosauruses. What do we have over here for this guy? Nothing, just a plain green one. Can't forget these raspberries. Grab those. Now, I also was thinking, like, this is episode 21 of this playthrough, right? Now, I am in nowhere near done being done with this playthrough because we haven't even completed the main storyline. However, I was still thinking about uh, the potential for when we do complete the storyline um, and we kind of wrap this playthrough up, ideas for future playthroughs. And one that I think I really want to try would be like a rare and ultra rare only. Um, and so we could only, only, um, 
medium viridian valley yeah five out of five wait let's see if there's one where i almost have it completed and it just needs that one just needs stone oh pompous grass is what that one needs anyway i've seen other creators do that where they um they're doing uh rare or ultra rare only and I think it's such an interesting idea. It definitely makes it a lot harder. It would definitely not be like a slow play, long play kind of thing, um, because there would be a lot of like skipping through days to try to find something and stuff like that. But I think it would be really fun. So let me know if that sounds like something uh, you would be interested in. If you're enjoying this Let's Play, um, Paleo Pines is still, you know, more of a newer game on my channel and something that, uh, is still kind of gaining some traction. So if you're here and watching and enjoying, I do very much appreciate you. I have to keep reminding myself here, we're looking for eggs. I um, get distracted by like what we need to complete and stuff like that, but eggs. Eggs is the top priority. Oh, this part is greenish too. Look at that. Very cool. I mean, I guess it's all part of the same river. Would it be back there? I don't I don't think it would be back there. I mean, it could. If all else fails, we'll check there. But I don't think... Oh, here we are. I found it. Egg number two. Beautiful. All right. That is two out of six. Amazing. Let's head over then up through here and take a look and head to Dapplewood. Now, Dapplewood is the one that I feel like is going to be the most difficult because Dapplewood has all that really cool like foliage and decorations and also is kind of darker in color and the eggs are kind of dark in color. So I feel like that might make it a bit difficult, but we'll see. Um, we're obviously still gonna check all the dinos while we're over there, see if we can find any other rare colors. I can't believe we have a rare on this day. Um, it seems like we've been fairly lucky with rare dino colors as of recently. So not complaining, but you know, very cool. Head on over to Dapplewood. Head on in. We can harvest these mushrooms without getting off a of lucky, which I just, I'm going to keep saying it because it is just one of the best updates to the game uh, as of yet, because getting off and then walking over and harvesting and whatnot was just a little cumbersome. Um, let's check granny's house because i feel like maybe there would be an egg no really i thought this might be a perfect place for an egg anyway getting off and, and doing all that could be a bit cumbersome at times and so the fact that we can do that without dismounting is just amazing no i'm shocked i thought there would be an egg up here for sure okay well let's head over and maybe check her garden Maybe over here? Grant, oh, but we did find uh, some researchable stuff. I feel like we're really going to uh, up our research game while we're doing this as well. Uh, this plant is not in season. Oh, it's apple tree. I was confused. Um, it was just telling me that the apple tree is not in season. I thought we were researching something else. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Now I completely forget. <laughs> we have some blueberries and some garlic. I lost my train of thought. But that's okay. That, you know, is usually what happens. It's rather difficult, more difficult than people give it credit for to play a game and also narrate what you're doing at the same time. Because you've got to, you know, control your game, play the game, but also think about what you're saying. Keep a train of thought. For somebody like me, you know, that has two brain cells that really, really work hard, sometimes it can be real difficult. So let's head on over to this path and we'll just start by doing like a... I guess just following the path around, right? And we'll kind of just walk around and see what we see. That might be the best thing. The paths are really winding in uh, in Dapplewood. So I'm also afraid it's going to take us a while just because of that. But uh, I mean, hopefully they put it somewhere where it stands out. Wait. Yes. Wow. That was so much easier than I thought. This is like in plain sight. Very cool. Okay, well, that's that's three out of six. Let's continue on anyway, because I did want to check a couple of these dinosaurs and just see if there's anything, um, anything special. I almost missed that one. I was not looking over to the right as I was walking by. 
but putting it up on a stump was was very helpful. Um, so thank you, devs. Ooh, is that one of the new ones? Uh, this blue one right here? Those two are just green. Are you a rare? Oh, buddy, come here. These guys are so incredibly fast. Okay, yes, go that way where you're all by yourself. Oh, okay, amazing. Uh, two blue and then yellow, purple, yellow, purple. Look at him, look how cute he is. You can barely see him over the grass. <laughs> oh, he's so squeaky. Hi, little buddy. Let's soothe little micro raptor because I'm just curious what your color is. And I feel like maybe we found this one before. I'm not quite sure, but let's see. What are you? Lucky, don't you dare run into him. Uh, common. Okay, well, you're still very pretty. You're just, you're just not that rare. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, hello. You just like popped on in there. I think this is the silver coloration. That's very cool. I don't know if it's rare or not. Should we see? This is Carnotaurus, right? I think we have uh, um, sung to one of these before. Yeah, we know the friend call. Okay, very cool. Uh, yellow, red, yellow, red, and blue, and three red. Very good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the silver coloration. Pretty sure. Look at that. He's so cute. They're little eyeballs, man. Such cute little dinosaurs. I mean, all of them. And I don't know if you noticed, too, like when we were soothing and he was... Oh, it's just common. But it is the silver coloration. So I did get that right. Um, Like when you get close to the dinos, they have like texture. Like look at Lucky. You can see the texture of like the little scales and stuff. Such good detail. Such amazing detail. Okay, no rares there. All right, we already found the egg in this section, so I don't think there'll be two, but let's check Marlo's house just, just in case. See if there's any like hiding behind any of these. Tr oh, look, there's more researchable stuff. Okay, great. We're gonna find every clay fragment. Just you watch. Ancient tablet. Uh, could this be part of the broken stone tablet? I think it just might. <laughs> I think it just might be what we needed. Um, anything? Ooh, is this more tapestry? Oh, that's my whistle, my flute. I don't need that. Tapestry fragment. Okay, we're going to have to go talk to Zara at the end of this because we are going to find a whole lot. She's going to be so pleased with us. All right, let's head on back. I really don't think there'll be two per section. So we need to head over to... Aracata Canyon. Now on their discord, they did give a little hint at this egg and they said something like uh, the cactus might have something to do with it or some that strange cactus might be weird or something like that. Something about a cactus. And I remember we found, uh, did I find it in my other playthrough or in this one? We found that weird cactus man, right? The, the cactus with the eyeballs. Can I just not harvest carrots on Lucky? How strange. That has to be a little bit of a bug. That's all right. Anyway, so we're going to head straight to that little cactus man and uh, and see what he is all about as we pick up this free food. We can't let free food go to waste. Um, and just see if, uh, if he's got an egg or maybe there's an egg around him or something like that. Look at that. Oh, gosh, I have a feeling I'm going to end up taming that and bring that home, which means we're going to have to, like, rearrange and, and kind of think about our uh, dino housing because I really need to make more space. OK, so up to the right here was this weird, weird cactus guy. Oh, and I'm missing some harvestable stuff. Let me grab that. Oh, not enough room in inventory. Oh, dang it. Really? Wow, I guess so. Yeah, huh? Well, we got two dreamstones. I shouldn't be running around with those, but that's all right. Um, yeah, this cactus guy is up here. So let's see if there's anything around the cactus guy in these logs. Oh, there's a dreamstone back there, though. Didn't we find that last time? Or maybe not. Can I research that from here? Not the log. 
Can I? Can I? Hello? Ah! <laughs> We're cheating a little bit. Um, but eggs. Okay. Hello, sir. If your name starts with H, you'll have a pretty good day. If it doesn't, you'll probably have a good day too. Life is what you make of it. Wow, that was really not very helpful. Oh, right here. Amazing. That was super easy. Okay, great. That is, what is that? Four? Yeah. Four out of six eggs. So where where else? Oh, the towns. That's right. So in uh, in this town over here and then in Pebble Plaza. Okay. Lucky to the town over here. I'm not quite sure. This town has a lot of little nooks and crannies, if I remember right. So let's see. Oh, can we? Oh, our inventory is full. Dang it. Okay. Anyway, egg. Now, if I were an egg, <laughs> or if I were a person hiding an egg, where would I put it? Oh my goodness. Is that the sand coloration, I think, straight in ahead of us? I think so. But yeah, this place has a lot of like little pots and things like that all over the place. So let's see if I were going to hide an egg, maybe up these little ramp thingies. No. Okay. Well, I would have guessed there. I mean, clearly I did guess there and I was incorrect. Um, in any of these planters, <gasps> look at them. In any of these planters? No, I'm looking for the, the sparkles, right? Because that's how I'm going to notice. Is little, little sparkles somewhere. How about, would it be on an island? Or like on, yeah, these little islands where the people are selling stuff? Also, what would you like? Uh, my horoscope said I'd see you today. How can I help? You wanted to talk to me. I heard you repaired Arakata Canyon's archway. That thing was crumbling to the ground. I'm so glad you've saved this trader a ton of troublesome traveling. If you're going to explore Arakata Canyon, you should have these. Looking the part is just the start, honey pie. Arakata shoes. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, as if my day couldn't get any better, it's you. Let's see what you have. Oh, just fabric and fiber. Okay, well, I want to be your friend because I want you to increase my inventory, please. <laughs> That's what I really want. Um, okay, anyway, eggs. Any eggs, any eggs, but we can take these. That would be helpful. Any eggs, any eggs. This is such a cute little area. Can we sit on these? No, I guess not. Can we sit. Oh, what was that? What was that dot? Oh, an egg! Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's... Oh, goodness, I'm stuck. That was uh, five? Five out of six. So now the only place that we have is Pebble Plaza. I should have gotten that one while I was over there, but that's all right. We'll head over. Um, we'll take a quick route through the desert and then uh, head back over to Pebble Plaza and uh, see if we can find that sixth egg. And then I have to decide... Then I have to decide what the heck we are going to do about that rare colored Triceratops. And I've got to say, I am leaning pretty heavily to the take it home side. Pretty heavily to the take it home side. Because it's a rare. Oh, I've not cleared this yet. Oh, <gasps> that dark. That's so cute. Can I get there on the other side? I should have brought... um. What the heck is our Therizinosaurus' name? Raspberry. I should have brought Raspberry with me. You guys are very cute. Can I get over here this way? No. Dang it. I wanted to see what that dinosaur was, if it was a rare one. Oh, and I can't get that way either. Oh, I need to bring all the rest of our dino friends. That way we can smash through that and we can, uh, we can cut through. Oh yeah, let's see the little guys up here. These are the ones that I like really, really want to have. Oh no, where are they? What the heck? Aren't they supposed to be up there? Oh, there they are. Oh my gosh, for a second, I thought that that might be an albino one. This one in the middle that's kind of like white colored. 
I got really excited for a second. You're very cute. My goodness. What is a... Uh... Hello? Can you... What is your coloration? No, 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 no. Go away. I want this one. No, not... You're very cute too, but that's not the one I want. Um, see you later. My goodness. Okay. You. Yes. Yes, you. <laughs> So very cute. Look. Okay. Uh, oh, I need to pay attention because we don't have this one yet. I saw yellow and blue. Oh, yellow and blue. Yellow, blue. Oh, thank you, little guy over there. Blue, blue. There we go. Amazing. His little buddy helped him out. <laughs> he was singing the song just to the side. Soothe, we want you to take a little nap. A little nappy nap. I have a feeling this is going to be just a, a common coloration. Oh, soothe one more time. I thought you were ready for a nap. Let's see what you are. Oh, and we haven't researched you yet either. So this is perfect. Protoceratops. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I very much want like 16 of these. Protoceratops discovered. Now, don't run into him. What is your color? It is. Okay. Are we taking home two dinos today? Are we taking home two dinos today? Now, remember, we can always kind of, you know, release them. Um, but I think, I think we're taking home two dinos today. Can I please get your attention? You are just the cutest little thing. Should we call him? Should we call him Mater? <laughs> because of uh because he's rusty right and rusty's too easy of a name but if we call him mater because mater from cars is really rusty and it just i think it's so cute so let's test this out um maybe we soothe you just a little bit get you in the green because i i'm afraid this egg won't work but let's see we're gonna use our first egg we're not even gonna save it um Yes, right? That's what we want to do? Okay, let's see. Do you like it? Yes, okay. Amazing. Look at how cute he is. Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to pet you. <laughs> uh, Mater, right? Is that how you spell Mater? Yes, that's how you spell Mater. Perfect. He's so cute. <laughs> Little Mr. Mater. I wonder what he does. I can look that up too. Okay, well, um, Pebble Plaza. Okay, so I uh, lost my train of thought there. We are going to, is there anything over there? No. Um, we are going to do one little lap. Ooh. Maybe I should stop looking at the dinosaurs. Maybe I should stop looking because we're going to end up with absolutely zero space. Oh, look at that one's probably a sand one too. Okay. Nope. Rares or ultra rares. That's the point of the game that we're getting to is we are, we are just going to be taking home rares and ultra rares. I'm going to stick to it. Uh, nothing over here. You're very cool though. Are you a rare? You kind of look like you're lucky colored and lucky is an ultra rare. So are you? Cause you're very pretty. Um, yellow, red, yellow, red, blue, red. Yeah, look at, he looks lucky colored, but maybe not, you know, you never know. Can you just take a, take a nap? Take a nap. I'm taking all the screenshots because these dinosaurs are just so cute. I can't, I can't get over it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Carnotaurus got bored. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just a common. You're really pretty though for just a common. Can you wake up? Because I want to take a picture with you. Oh my goodness. Run in circles. No, can you run somewhere where uh, it's prettier? Okay, onward to Pebble Plaza. Let's make our way back. Um, we've been so lucky finding all these dinos. Oh, look at you guys. I'm so excited about Mater. I think he's just the cutest thing in the world. 
And I can't wait to figure out what the heck his, um, his little, I almost said, like, power. <laughs> his little superpower. His skill. Um, I wonder what his skill is. And I can take a guess that I think he might be like a, uh, like a tender, uh, one like, that, like, tends to your garden. Kind of like the Satakasauruses are. So maybe he and Milo, oh, look at him. Uh, he and Milo can be friends. Oh, goodness, we should take this one home, too. We're using two of our eggs on the first day, but I don't even care. These guys are such cute dinos. We lucked out, man. Um, these eggs also, I think I forgot to mention, they are only available in the game until April 7th. And then they aren't there anymore. So be sure to get in your game and, uh, and go searching for them and uh and find them you know what i'm gonna be a little nitpicky i'm gonna uh uh re-encounter this guy in um in some sunlight <laughs> i need him to be in the sunlight because uh he needs to have a better screenshotable encounter um and i know that's it's a little silly but you know i'm i'm making this for a for a video let's see is this better there we go beautiful that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, now we can sing you your song now that you are in beautiful lighting. Uh, purple, blue, yellow, red. Oh, I think I got that one wrong. I think I needed to hold that. Just one more. Okay. Uh, yellow, red, purple, blue, yellow, and red for three. Yeah, there we go. So cute! <laughs> what are we gonna name this one? Um, my first. Let's see if it works without doing anything. Right? Let's try it. I guess. Let's see. Do you like it? Yes. Triceratops trusts you. That's amazing. So you don't have to do anything. You can literally just give it to them. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so my first uh, thought is to name her like Plum, because plums are purple, right? Um, Violet obviously is another one, but that's really like easy. And I think that's a kind of a cop out. So what do we call her? And I, I'm, <laughs> I don't know how I decide if they're uh, boys or girls, but I just kind of, I don't know, I like feel them out, right? So like, I feel like this Triceratops is a girl where I feel like Mater is a little boy. Um, so a little girl, and what are we going to call you? Um, how about we ignore the color altogether and we go, like, opposite of her, like, so she's a big animal, right? So let's pick something that's small, like a, like a frog or like a, like a, ooh, like a, like a little fish, like a, um, hmm, like a minnow? Minnow? Should we call her minnow? Or mini? Minnow. I don't, Minnow doesn't really make any sense, right? Uh, but I kind of like that name. You know what? I am so indecisive on this one. How about I let you all help me? So Triceratops for now. And then let me know down in the comments what you think we should name this cutie. Because uh, I, I am so undecided. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> so let's head over very last thing like we've been trying to do before I get distracted by all of the adorable little dinosaurs. Uh, Pebble Plaza is gonna have one more egg. I know it. So let's go figure out where it is because we need all of that befriending power. <laughs> we need all of it. Um, and uh, hopefully we can use one of those things on uh, on a, a melanistic or, or something like that. So these guys want to talk to us, but hold on. I'm searching for eggs. I feel like up here is a good spot for an egg. No. Okay. I was wrong. I thought the library might be a perfect spot. Up by Pippin. Wow. Everybody wants to talk to me. My goodness, you guys. Uh, over here. We can't go up there. Okay. Um... Nothing along here behind these bushes? No. Where Ora It can't be where Orani normally is because otherwise it would get in the way if she was there. Oh, there it is. How do I get there? Can I go around Granny's little thing? I can. Amazing. Found it. 
Oh, hello. Can I pick it up? Thank you. We did it! Six beautiful eggs. Um, we don't really have anything to give Avery on their budding day, so I'm just going to give them whatever is in my inventory. How about, how would you like a rock is mean? How about a dandelion? Yeah, that's not too bad, right? Gift this dandelion? Yes, nothing better than a good bit of produce. What would you like to do? Uh, well wishes. What would you like to say? Uh, happy budding day to you. Lovely words, thank you. That's, that's it. Okay, great. I guess we can give multiple things on a budding day. But at least we gave something. Uh, you look like someone who needs a pop-in. Chat. Savannah, I'm extremely busy trying to sniff the air for new scents. When I run out of recipe ideas for cooking, this is how I come up with new ideas. So far, I've discovered fresh breeze, grass, and fresh cotton. <laughs> Those sound terrible as foods, Pippin. Though the last one might just have been Granny walking by. You ever looked at those paintings on the giant pot in Arakata? That's changing the subject. Cooking inspiration? Giant pot. Giant pot. Giant pot. <laughs> a pot. Reminds me of a mango chutney. Wow, that would be super tasty to make. Thanks, Savannah. I have a great recipe for it. Seems only fair to share. Uh, oh, we learned a recipe. Okay, amazing. Let's go talk to Marlo. And then I think that's where we'll wrap it up. Um, we do need to get uh, to be named Triceratops and Mater set up with like dreamstones and stuff. But let's see what you need. You seem busy as ever, Savannah. What have you run off your feet today? Have you seen the paintings in the giant pot? Oh, we're going to ask them all about the paintings. I got it. Okay. You could carve some furniture inspired from it. That's not a half bad idea, Savannah. Thanks for the suggestion. You're so welcome. Okay. Let's head on back to the ranch then. Get those dinos set up. In fact, actually, I might get them set up off camera. Um, so we might just head back to the ranch and end the episode there. Um, yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy uh, Budding Day to Aviary. Aviary. Avery. <laughs> happy Budding Day to Avery. And, uh, and happy egg hunting. Happy Easter, right? I think that was such a cool little update. And look at how big our ranch is growing to. We have so many dinos. We definitely need to do some clearing. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some clearing of the different sections with our different dinosaur dinosaurs using up their stamina and just creating some more space, especially since we have two new friends that we now have to take care of. But thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Leave a like and a comment. Uh, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. And until next time, I will see you in the next episode. Bye.